What is going on guys, welcome back to another video and in today's video I'm going to be doing something that I haven't really touched upon uh, on my channel very recently and I'm going to be talking about when potentially we could be seeing a brand new large scale hotel coming to Thorpe Park Resort. Now obviously recently we did get the news that Thorpe Park and many of the other Merlin attractions will be opening or potentially be opening on the 4th of July. Um, for those of you that are wondering why I didn't actually make a video on that, uh, it's pretty much because there wasn't really much to talk about. Like, I'd already made a video talking about all of the different social distancing measures, so if that does interest you, definitely go check that out, but other than that, there wasn't a lot for me to talk about. Uh, but yeah, obviously, a hotel is something that I think Thorpe Park has been extremely lacking. Obviously, we do have a current hotel, which is obviously the Shark Hotel, uh, but obviously that is a very temporary hotel. Uh, it isn't really on this scale of anything like the Orton Towers Hotel or anything like that, so I just thought in today's video, I'd go ahead and take a look at when we could potentially be seeing a large scale hotel like this and what it could potentially look like. So if you guys do go on to enjoy the video, make sure to like, subscribe, anything that makes me know you guys like my content. I make weekly videos all about the Merlin Parks and just theme parks in general. So if that is something that does interest you, definitely feel free to hit the subscribe button. So with all that said, let's get right into the video. So to fully understand where we are at kind of at the park at the moment with accommodation, we need to take a look a little bit back at the past achievements for Thorpe Park in the terms of the hotel industry. Now obviously it's no secret uh, Thorpe Park hasn't really had the best track record when it comes to brand new hotels. Uh, obviously we know back in 2012 that they released the crash pads, uh, which is obviously a very kind of temporary uh, test the hotel. Uh, obviously it would kind of shape what we got within the future. Uh, obviously I'll talk about that in just a second. But at the end of the day, when Thorpe Park were making the crash pad, Alton Towers and Chessington and Legoland pretty much already had these large scale hotels that a lot of people were highly praising. So it was always evident that Thorpe Park were a little bit behind on the spectrum with you know accommodation. Uh, but obviously now it is really, really starting to show. Now obviously a couple of years after the crash pad, uh, we obviously got the Thorpe Shark Hotel, uh, which is obviously what we've still got at the resort at the moment. Uh, this was a huge step up from the crash pad. Um, obviously, Thorpe Park dropped their ties with Snooze Box uh, and kind of went for their own thing. Uh, it was just a little bit bigger than the crash pad originally was. Uh, however, it kind of had a little bit more of a theming push to it. Um, obviously, having the huge kind of shark head structure uh, with the kind of scrap metal design to it uh, was a really big factor and really got a lot of fans of the park excited. Uh, uh, in terms of the hotel rooms, they are very, very modern. Uh, obviously, generally with a lot of the Merlin Park hotels at the moment, they are very much tailored to experiences. Um, obviously, for example, over at Alton Towers, you have obviously uh, the Alton Towers Hotel, which is very much themed to explorers. Uh, obviously, you also have the Splash Landings Hotel, which is more of like a chilled uh, kind of Caribbean feel to it. And Thor Park just kind of went for a more modern design, which I do actually really think fits the park. Um, however, in terms of stuff that you know it had competition with, wasn't really up to standard. So you guys are probably wondering why I'm talking about the Thorpe Shark Hotel so much if obviously this video is about a future hotel. Now, a lot of people don't actually know it, but the Thorpe Shark Hotel is actually a huge part in this brand new hotel that could potentially be in development. Because obviously, for those of you out there that don't actually know, the Thorpe Shark Hotel is actually a temporary hotel and is due to run out in 2024. Now, this is absolutely huge uh, news, obviously, plainly because if Thorpe Park don't get a hotel out by 2024, they're not really gonna have a lot of accommodation, if not any at all. So it is a very, very important situation to realize that Thorpe Park is 100% probably thinking about a hotel right now because of this. And that actually kind of leads me into my next section pretty well. Okay then, so moving into the next section of the video, I'm going to be talking about something that I think pretty much most of you will know, and obviously that is the scrapped hotel plans that were actually made uh, early on when the Thorpe Shark Hotel had been released. Now obviously this has been something that's been quite public recently, uh, quite a few people have actually talked about it, uh, so I thought I might as well touch upon it here, uh, because there are some details within it that could potentially point to different places and different kind of uh, potential ideas that Thorpe Park come up with uh, that could potentially translate into a future hotel. Now the first one and the most probably noticeable one is the actual transportation system this would have implemented within it. Now obviously there's only really one main transportation system to the island at the moment at Thorpe Park and obviously that is through the entrance and obviously over the bridge. However with this scrapped hotel it, this would have been very, very different. Now, we know that this hotel would have actually been located just to the right of the entrance of the park, uh, and would have actually incorporated a boat transportation 
system to the island. Now obviously, I think this is a very, very cool and innovative idea. Obviously, if you haven't really seen transportation systems really within hotels, throughout any of the Merlin parks. Obviously, we know we've got some of the ones at Alton Towers, but none of them have really physically transported you to the park in a unique way specific to that hotel. And I think if Thought Park did this, this would be extremely cool. Like, imagine having like a dock or a port uh, that obviously hotel gets to transport it to via boat. It would just be a really, really cool environment. And I think if Thought Park were to make another hotel, or at least draw one up, this would 100% be located in there somewhere. Now in terms of the contents that would actually have been featured within this large scale hotel, obviously the most notable I think is generally the kind of water park type, you know, pool area uh, that was supposed to be within here. Whether or not it would have been a water park is very, very vague uh, and I can't really put my finger on it. Obviously these are only plans so there's no real kind of uh, definitivity uh, about the different things here, but I think that a water park at Thought Park would make so, so much sense. Obviously with it being on an island, you know, the water theme is very, very heavily used at Thorpe Park. Um, so something like this would definitely be very, very welcome to a lot of guests. Uh, obviously, as well as this, we would have had a lot of leisure activities. Uh, obviously, much like, obviously, the stuff we see over at Alton Towers in the Alton Towers Hotel. Uh, there would have been a spa, there would have been bars, there would have been restaurants. Uh, it's very, very similar, like I said, to some of these big, large-scale hotels. Uh, and would have really kind of fit at the park really well. And I think something like this is definitely what Thorpe Park is missing. Uh, and it's something that most of the other Merlin parks do actually have now. In terms of how big it would would have been it would have been fairly big obviously it would have been much much bigger uh, than the shark hotel we have at the moment it would have been three stories high uh, which is very very tall obviously it's three kind of floors if you don't know what really what story means um and yeah i'm assuming that most of these would have been taken up with different rooms obviously the bottom floor most likely would have been used for things like restaurants uh, and different kind of things like leisure activities spas the pools and stuff like that uh, so yeah obviously you know when these plans were made it was very very clear that thought park was dead serious about doing something like this because they potentially pretty much had a full roadmap ready uh, for this hotel, they were kind of outlining dates for it to be released, uh, different kind of, you know, dates where things would have been completed, and it's very, very odd how it didn't actually come to fruition, but I'm assuming this was another part of those management changes that have been going on, um, but it does look like Thought Park probably would take a lot of inspiration from these past plans if they were to make new plans for another hotel. Okay, so just kind of finishing off the video a little bit here, then we're going to be touching upon what kind of theme could this large scale hotel have? Because obviously, most of the large scale hotels we've got around the Merlin Group are very, very much themed to a certain thing. Like I said earlier, obviously the Alton Towers Hotel is very much themed to exploration. Uh, you know, the Legoland Hotel, one of them I'm pretty sure is themed to nights. Uh, so there would be one big kind of grand theme to this uh, if it was to come to fruition and I actually have a little bit of a good idea for this. Now obviously we know at the moment that the Thought Shark Hotel is very very much kind of based around scraps and things like that and I think the actual aesthetic of this hotel is extremely extremely cool uh, and could we potentially see this theme kind of translated onto a bigger scale uh, on a larger scale hotel because it would make a lot of sense uh, to have this kind of scrap theme and imagine like themed hotel rooms to uh, kind of scrap and things like that it would just make such a good experience and I think it would really really fit with thought what Thorpe Park are going for. Uh, obviously we did obviously get have the announcement that Finn's Bar and Grill would not be returning this year uh, and instead we have Infinity Bar and Grill uh, which is going for a lot more of a modern feel so whether or not that this hotel could potentially go for a more modern feel uh, is something completely different uh, but obviously that is really something to touch upon more towards the time. Uh, I just wanted to kind of get a little theory out there for what I think the theme could be. Uh, other than that Thorpe Park could literally do anything. They could do futuristic hotel, uh, they could do like a medieval hotel, there's loads of different stuff they could do and I think it really is up to Thought Park within that case. Okay then guys, so that is the, going to be the end of the video. I hope you all did enjoy. Like I said at the beginning of the video, definitely feel free to subscribe if you did enjoy the content. It really does make me know that you guys like this type of stuff. Uh, and as well as that, leave any video suggestions you guys have as well. I'm very, very open to that. The next video we'll be having may be taking a little bit more time than usual, uh, but that is because it's going to be a lot higher quality. I've got a really, really cool project to be working on for you guys, uh, and I'm pretty sure it will be something that's slapped into part. So definitely get uh, looking forward to that. Uh, and yeah, with all that said, I will see you guys later.